Hello, and welcome to another Full Bean tutorial. In this session, I'm going to show how I use the program Wi-Fi Photo Transfer to move photos from my iPhone to my PC. I often take pictures with my iPhone and then want to get them off of the phone and onto my PC so that I can put them in albums or store them on my server. So here's the process by which you can do that. Wi-Fi Photo Transfer is a free program that you download from the App Store for your iPhone. Launch the program from your iPhone and when you do you'll see a screen that gives you a URL to type into your computer to view on your computer the photos that you have on your iPhone. At this point I'm going to open my browser and type in the URL that I see on my iPhone. This URL will vary depending on your choices and your situation. So what you see here is a list of the libraries on my iPhone. These categories were created by the Wi-Fi photo transfer app. Um, I'm going to go to Recents, and it may look like there are only three items there, but if you click on Recents, it'll open up and you'll see a more complete listing. In order to, to uh, select the ones that you want to download, click on Download in Zip, and having done that, a number will appear next to the photos that are available. This numbering scheme was created by Wi-Fi Photo Transfer and doesn't match the name given to it in your iPhone. Uh, I want to download everything from 144 to 180. So I'll click on Apply Selection and then Download uh, Selected Pictures. And you can see that it's already completed that. So I'm going to get out of my browser and go to the Download folder on my computer where the zip file was downloaded. There it is. When I open it up, all of these are still compressed. I need to extract them by clicking on Extract All. I'll click that and I'm going to use the default location uh, for that extraction, which is in my Downloads folder. So I'll simply click Extract. And there you see all of the pictures that I chose to move, to, rather to copy, from my iPhone to my computer. And as proof of concept, I'll open up the first one. And there you have it. You'll notice that the extension on these images is HEIC. That's a new standard adopted by 
Apple uh, for the iPhone. It replaces uh, JPEG. It gives you the same degree of sharpness, but a better compression. Windows doesn't open these extensions automatically. You have to download several files in order to allow Windows to open them. I'll show you that information in the next slide. This concludes my video on Wi-Fi photo transfer. I hope that you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.